Hi, everybody. Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you using products from the latest January release. We're going to create a cutie patootie little typewriter with a message coming out of it. I'm going to be featuring the typewriter dynamics die set along with the typewriter sentiments friendship. There's also another typewriter sentiment set that's love themed, but I'm going to be using the friendship one. But I'm going to start with the typewriter dynamics die set. First things first, you got to cut apart all those bits and bobs. Now, I don't mind doing this, but one thing I will tell you, please make sure and cut out all the pokey. I don't know what the word for it. I think there is a word for these little pieces, but the ones that poke out, sometimes I get lazy and I won't cut out the pokey and they get me. They will get you every time, I'll tell you. Okay, so now I have all these little um, pieces of solid color cardstock. I got a little matte silver, some slate gray, black and white. I'm gonna make kind of a teal uh, typewriter. You could do any color. If you look at the My Favorite Things website, check out what the design team has created. A lot of different colors, a lot of fun inspiration. Uh, so I took these all off camera, ran them through my die cutting machine, and I'm going to start assembling. This typewriter really does come together lickety split. Okay, so here you have your little teal typewriter base, and then all the little pieces that adhere to it. Kind of figuring out where it all needs to go. Again, I'm referring to the website because I get easily confused. Now, one thing I wanted to try to do, kind of fun, was the little keyboard or keypad. I wanted to color each button or key a different color. And you know I'm going in rainbow order. Just had to do it. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to do because when I first die cut this little keypad, um, all the little pieces held together. So um, that kind of made me think, why don't I color all these? Because I really did. Have you ever seen people on their um, laptops? You can get a little mat that makes each little letter a rainbow color, like a rainbow colored keyboard mat. I haven't gotten one, but I sure have admired those who have them. And then I thought, why don't I do that on this typewriter? Okay, so I got my marker caps there if you want to know. I just chose some kind of light, rainbowy pastel colors. You can make it more vibrant or make them all one color. But while they're all held together, I thought, let's do it. And then I'll flip it over. Probably should have done that first. Put a little tape on the back just to hold everything secure, I went ahead and die cut another one using my metal shim out of white cardstock and all the little pieces fell out really quick. So um, I was kind of lucky on this first one that everything held together. I'm using score tape on the back just to make sure that all those pieces stick together. And then I'll tear off the backing of the score tape and I'll adhere this panel little keypad right onto the typewriter like so. Now it looks like a hot mess, but then I'm going to take that extra one that I die cut out of white cardstock and glue it on top. So it'll cover up all the scribbles with my Copic markers because um, I did scribble, made it nice and easy. Okay. Now you, if you wanted to go crazy and I thought about it, listen, I thought about it, die cutting each one of those little keys, individual out of different colors of solid color cardstock. I know I did think about it, but then I thought the Copic coloring method was quicker and easier. But you know, I'm not, I'm not above it. Listen, I've done some tedious things in my day. And sometimes you got to do what the heart wants is the bottom line. Okay. So we got a little slate here for the under, I don't know the anatomy of a typewriter. I should have looked it up, but I did take, um, I think it was called keyboard. Or maybe I forget the word, but typing. When I was in high school, that was a class, and I believe it was required. So we learned, you know, the perfect placement for the fingers, how they're supposed to sit on the keyboard, you know, and and um, all that jazz. I learned how to type pretty fast, and now I see that my kids, none of them are learning this. And when I, the older ones, I see them writing papers, and they're pecking away. They can do it fast, but they don't have the form, you know, and I, I always have to remind them. You know, there is a form and they're just like, okay, mom, but they get her done. They get her done. Okay. So now there's all these little individual little accents that are optional, but I feel like every little bit just adds more and more detail and more interest. Um, so these would be like the little rubber stops that kind of hold your paper down. I actually did Google the anatomy of a typewriter 
And some of the some of the terms I was not familiar with, but I know there's some lev some lever lever. There's a lever and a knob, and all kinds of buttons and whatnot. But uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, so I did them out of matte silver, some black cardstock, some dark gray, and the base of the typewriter is kind of a, a teal. So there you have it. And then there's one little extra little. Do you say lever or lever? Lever or lever? I'm not sure. Maybe it depends on where you are in the in the country. Because uh, you know what? My husband's from Canada. And he says a lot of things different than me. Like, uh, you know, celery, as in the vegetable. He calls it salary. I won't get you started on that. Like pasta. He calls it pasta. And, we, and I could go on. Okay, I'm going to stamp a sentiment on the little sheet of paper coming out of the typewriter. From the typewriter sentiments, friendship stamp set it's a cute little one and then there's this little bitty itty bitty heart that is in the itty bitty love notes and i'm going to stamp a little heart underneath the sentiment and a little soft pink just an extra little detail that just really makes it cute i'll put a little tape runner on the bottom of my sheet of paper and tuck it in the typewriter and just kind of secure it so it stays still there is an additional die set that can allow this to be interactive so you can make your um, paper pull up and down a little pulley die set i don't have it but you could do that if you want to go the extra mile now for pattern paper i love this joyful plaid pattern paper pack by my favorite things i love it there's soft subtle beautiful plaid patterns so i took one of those trimmed it down and then i'm going to tape it onto a white card base very simple card i reined in the dimension i taped that one down i did put a little foam tape on the back of my typewriter though just to give it a little shadow and this card is finished it's very simple but there's enough color and interest to make it really really fabulous i love that heartfelt sem sentiment you're my type of friend fabulous i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for joining me have a wonderful day and i will see you next time